please welcome your host of Bombing Run, General A.A. Ron. Thank you. I'm General A.A. Ron. And it's time for everyone's favorite comedian game show, Bombing Run. Yeah. The rules for Bombing Run are simple. Each comedian combatant does their five-minute set, while the mysterious comedian judge will be looking for their setup punch and an appearance in front of a live studio audience. <gasps> Warning combatants. If you say the F or C word, Freddy the F-bomb will come bomb your set. <laughs> and you can't be Joker Ace. <laughs> Two new rules for bombing run. If you leave more than 25 seconds on the clock, it'll be considered a dud. And you can't be Joker Ace. And if you go over your time, then you'll be considered a time bomb. And you can't be Joker Ace. So please welcome our mysterious comedian judge tonight, everybody. Judge Mount Rushmore! Judge Mount Rushmore. Woo! I know what yeah. you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. You got a stoner to be a judge. No, it's actually all the four presidents up there in North Dakota on a mountain. It was in South Dakota. I don't even know my Dakotas anymore. But no, they're actually a mystery. They're actually a comedian. They've been in the business a long time, so they know what they're looking for. And they are an amazing bunch of presidents. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. I, I hope I don't have to say that every time I turn around and say that. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Uh, well, so with that being said, let's meet our mysterious comedian. Not our mysterious comedian. So tonight, let's meet our comedian combatants for game number one, shall we? Contestant number one. Oh, I'm sorry. Benita Ellery, uh, and I'm zooming in from Louisville, Kentucky. Awesome. And now contestant number two. You, Amy. You see me? Okay. I didn't. Hi, my name is Amy Grimard. I'm from Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, Canada. All right, and now contestant number three. <laughs> hey, everybody. My name is Funky Sam Medina, and I'm from the Bay Area, California, where I do stand-up comedy. Come and see me. Awesome. Now, these three comedian combatants will be doing combat on the game show known as Bombing Run. So, Battle Station comedian combatants, Battle Stations, as we bring up our first comedian combatant for the night on game number one, let's give it up for Benita Errol Ellery, everybody. Yeah! Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, my name is Benita Ellery. Uh, my vitamin of choice is Plan B. <laughs> I take it every day. It keeps my teeth white. Five stars. Um <laughs> Christmas is right around the corner, you guys. Um, are you guys excited for Christmas? Woo, um, yeah. So yeah. I asked Santa for three years straight uh, for just one thing for Christmas. Uh, a man. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know what I got instead? What? Stretch marks and trauma. Oh, <laughs> Is what I got. <laughs> so anyway, so guys, we've got an election coming up. Are you guys ready to vote? Yeah. Because I'm ready to vote for them to bring the McRib back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not playing around. Um, Read me this, Batman. I think if uh, a Republican wins the presidency... The Democrats should storm the Capitol. Mm. Ooh, you can't talk about politics. Yes, you can. Um, <laughs> no, I don't think that would work because there's not enough Prius charging stations or oh. <laughs> gluten-free kombucha. Well, the police would just kill the Democrats. Um, oh. <laughs> I am uh, trying to date now. I'm 52. So give it up for me. Give it up Woo! for 52. Mm. Uh, now, I like my men yeah. young. I like young men. Legal. Let me say that. Legal. <laughs> Legal. But young enough that he has to put his finger under every word when he reads. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so 
I'm at the hard stage, you guys, because young guys, um, they play Call of Duty all day. They never change their pillowcases. And they say stupid stuff like, Psh, it is what it is. No, it ain't. No, it ain't. <laughs> and then older men, my age, they go to sleep at nine o'clock. They're obsessed with the weather channel. And they say stuff like, supper time. <laughs> I'm not going out on a date with any man that goes, are you ready for supper time? <laughs> um, so <laughs> I'm trying to lose weight, you guys, and it's hard. I get fat, fat shamed a lot, um, but only by people who are fatter than me. Um, I see them judging me in Walmart and their motorized scooters, um, mm -hmm. fighting over the last um, rotisserie chicken and punching their barefoot <laughs> kids in the throat. Um, <laughs> yeah, but it is true. I do love to eat. I go to funerals just to eat. Oh. <laughs> I will peruse the obituaries and if somebody black dies I just show up <laughs> y'all know how black people look alike and plus it's not like there's a DJ I mean a, a security guard at the door checking IDs mm. and if they ask me how I know the deceased I go oh I worked in their school cafeteria and if they still don't believe me, I go, and I got the lunch lady arms to prove it. So <laughs> shut up, Darnell, and pass me the honey baked ham. Mm. Now I'm going to leave you guys with two things. Um, skinny people, I need you to stop lying to your fat friends. Oh, Bonita, I was so busy, I forgot to eat. Malarkey, that'd be like me going in a bank. And saying, oh, and getting denied a loan and saying, oops, I forgot I was black. Oh. <laughs> and the last thing is, y'all, that I haven't had sex in so long that AIDS is no longer a deal breaker. <laughs> <laughs> as long as you got your booster shot, condoms are optional. <laughs> Enter at your own risk. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. I'm Benita Ellery. All right. Let's give it up for Benita <laughs> Ellery, everybody. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. Where can we find you on social media? You can find me at Here's Benita, like Here's Johnny, H-E-R-E-S-B-O-N-I-T-A. Here's Benita. Awesome. Go check that out. That was great. And if you can't find her on social media, go follow a funeral that she possibly could be attending. <laughs> nice. True. True. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Gloria. Uh, <laughs> oh, my gosh. Mount Rushmore, you're being very dirty over here. You can't be like that. That's, uh, wow. Apparently, he's. Mount Rushmore, uh, which president am I talking to right now? Is it George, the Teddy, or am I talking to Lincoln? Lincoln's at the opera. Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. All right. Uh, uh, Mount Rushmore, are you ready for the next comedian combatant? Awesome. They did understand that. So please welcome to the stage our second comedian bat for game number one. Let's give it up for Amy Grimard, everybody. Yeah. Woo! Woo all right guys i grew up with parents that really had to like stretch a dollar they couldn't live in the luxury of debt and overdraft like we can now mm -hmm. so like growing up we were like share the bath water broke mm -hmm. so like i was the youngest of six so it was pecking order and like i pecked down here you guys it was not good so when bathtub time would come dad would go first and he was a mechanic. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Then mom would go and she was an avid gardener. Oh. Yeah. Mm. My sisters, they were just dirty. Oh. And then brother, he would take forever. I'll let that one sit for a minute, you guys. Oh. <laughs> Ew. That's a mess joke and then, <laughs> <laughs> and then it was my turn to go in the bathtub guy boy was it cramped 
Oh. <laughs> 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 but it's okay. It's not as bad as it sounds, you guys. Because, like, all the, like, body heat would keep the bathtub water warm. And then, like, every once in a while, you're like, who pooped? It's... <laughs> It's fine, guys. You only did that, so you had something to play with. It's oh, oh, oh. <laughs> like growing up in the '90s and '80s. You know, every family had that like Tupperware cups. You had like the the pea yellow, the poop brown, the puke green, and then you had this like beautiful royal blue cup. And like that's the cup that everybody fought over. Did you guys fight over the blue cup? No. Just, just us poor folk. Okay, well, I will explain. <laughs> it. You guys don't have to live through it. So the blue cup was like the coveted cup. That's also the cup that was on the edge of the bathtub that mom would scoop the poop out with and then, you know, put oh, in the toilet. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh, the dishwasher and back in a rotation. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> just like the popcorn bowl, guys. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to, who can I pick on? Who's Who wants to be picked on? You do? Okay. So say you're growing up poor and mm -hmm. you had the option to share a toothbrush or underwear with your sibling. What would you choose? Uh, toothbrush, I guess. Oh, my gosh. Oh. The answer is neither. Don't share that stuff. That's disgusting. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that. It doesn't matter how poor you are. Just don't. Um, even though I would probably share both. That's fine. Oh. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Another thing I really enjoyed growing up was shopping at the dump with dad. Anybody ever shop at the dump with dad? The garbage no. dump or like the landfill, I guess maybe you guys would call it. Oh. It was like the greatest thing ever. Don't knock it till you tried it, okay? So you go shopping with mom. You had rules and guidelines. You had to keep your hand on the cart. And she's like, if you behave, you can have one thing. You go shopping at the dump with dad. And he's like, pick whatever you want. It was great, you guys. Oh. <laughs> Sometimes we went home with way more than we came with. And we'd also have to stop for a tetanus shot on the way home, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I still do partake in shopping at the dump, at the virtual dump, you know, I, the Facebook buy and sell or Kijiji or Tinder or Bumble, you know, <laughs> you just got to love what people throw away. Mm. <laughs> uh, you want to know what poor moms don't have in their purse? What? Moist towelettes. They don't oh. have nice scented moist towelettes. Do you know what poor moms use? What? Oh, yeah. You know, they use, <laughs> you know, and it's just like, thanks, mom. But you know what the worst part is when you have a really dirty face? You know what happens? <laughs> <laughs> and, like, oh, and the whole time she's just preparing you for bodily fluids on your face. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I have one more for you. Uh, do you guys ever get spam calls or texts? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh that's great i'm not going to do the punchline because i'm running at a time so we'll say my name's amy grimard thank you for having me all right let's give it up for amy grimard everybody yeah. and amy where can we find you on social media uh you can find me on instagram as aimster maple tune and then you can find me on facebook uh just as my name amy grimard awesome thank you so much that was great and let's give amy one big round of applause again and uh i grew up for her. I grew, up so, I grew up so poor, I had to share in a 9 by 12 bedroom with my siblings. Do the math. Doesn't work out too well. We were stacked in like cordwood. Uh, yeah, it wasn't fun. And yes, I'm used to this thing so much that if I see anyone do it, I just slap their hands away from their kid. <laughs> just no. Just here. Here's a dollar. Go buy some moist towelettes. Uh, Mount Rushmore. What are moist towelettes? I know you're old. But come on, George. Uh, Zach Taylor <laughs> is pissed that he can't be here. Some choices or something. Some chores? What? Some chores? Some col oh, cholera. Oh, I'm sorry. I can't read. Uh, I'm surprised he could etch that in stone. Mount Rushmore, are you ready for our next Kameen combatant? All right. They are. They're just, they're just 
stoked to see this next comedian come out. Let's give it up for Funky Sam Medina, everybody. Yeah. Ooh. 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 Hey, so I got to warn you guys. Uh, I just took a Viagra and I'm not telling myself, so I could probably do like 15 minutes. <laughs> I feel like I feel like if you're doing comedy online and you don't time yourself, it's like it's like having random unprotected sex, right? I mean, everything could be fine, uh, but you could also run the light and end up with syphilis. Oh. <laughs> oh. I I work from home now. Working from oh. home is cool. I think the weirdest part about working from home is now. I'm stealing toilet paper from myself. <laughs> the best part, though, about working from home is I can finally say I do all my best work in the bedroom. Cut. <laughs> <laughs> Before that, I used to work at a car dealership. The way I got that job was crazy. I went in to go buy a car, and when they realized I couldn't afford one, they gave me a job instead. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I had all kinds of wacky jobs. Like I used to go to a drugstore. I can't tell you what it's called, but there are three. It stands for can't yeah. verify shit. Oh. <laughs> this one day, this guy comes in. He goes, hey, do you guys sell screwdrivers? And I go, no, but we do sell orange juice and vodka separately. <laughs> <laughs> that was my last day. Oh. <laughs> it, doesn't, it doesn't beat my first job though I used to work at this little Mexican restaurant it was called Fat Burrito and all the employees had to wear a shirt that said Fat Burrito mm. except for mine it just said Burrito oh <laughs> hell yeah you guys I just had a deal with Netflix I'm pretty excited about it Ooh, yeah, yeah thanks I get three months for a dollar <laughs> <laughs> I have a lazy eye. It's cool though, you know, because it matches my personality. <laughs> Somebody told me that I look like the ugly guy on Pawn Stars. And I'm like, oh great. I look like the entire cast of Pawn Stars. <laughs> Uh, I got married. Uh, we got married just before the pandemic. We drove up to Vegas. We did one of those drive through weddings. Yeah, it was cool. She didn't even know. She thought it was McDonald's. Uh, <laughs> I was like, Can I get a double cheeseburger? And <laughs> the other day, I was getting ready for bed. And my wife woke up to go to the bathroom. And I was like, wait, before you go back to bed, let me tell you this joke I'm working on. Uh, did not end well for me. She said, I hate you when she went back to sleep. Yeah, the joke was this. I enrolled my dog in a martial arts class. Overman. I know, I know. That joke was almost in my marriage. But it was oh. worth it. It was worth <laughs> it. Uh, uh, they say you should never date a comedian. And I do agree with that. I yeah. think the, the reason why I personally would never date a comedian is because my wife is also a comedian and she might know her. <laughs> <laughs> In honor of getting married when my wife wanted to get a second cat named it Gary. I'm like, no, you don't do that. You know, you don't give it a human name. You gotta give it a cat's name, right? Like Fido or Spot, Rover, something like that. So as man of the house, I put my foot down. I was like, absolutely not. And uh, she got me back though, you guys. She got revenge on me. She named her Vagina Gary. <laughs> and and now whenever I want to have sex, I got to say, can I have sex with Gary tonight? Oh. It, is, it is so demeaning. Mm -hmm. It's almost like doing comedy online. <laughs> no offense, no offense. Uh, my wife asked me if I was embarrassed to kiss her in public. I'm like, no, not at all. And she goes, okay, well, then kiss me. I'm like, I will just wait for all these people to leave. <laughs> uh, my dad's an alcoholic and it's pretty cool because he never has plans so I call him I'm like hey dad you want to come babysit and what does he do what does he, have the, what does he have the nerve to do he leaves his bottle of vodka at my house yeah mm. so I call him next day all pissed off I'm like hey dad you want to come babysit again we have vodka <laughs> <laughs> 
He was so there. Hey, thank you guys. My name is Funky Sam Medina. All right. Let's give it up for Funky Sam Medina, yeah. everybody. Yeah. yeah. And Sam, where can we find you on social media? Uh, I made it real easy. You can find me at Funky Sam Medina across all platforms. Woo. Awesome. Thank you so yeah. much. And you can also find him on the History Channel as Chumley on Pawn Stars. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yes, that's oh. where you find him. Um, <laughs> apparently, uh, according to Mount Rushmore, TJ wants uh, some of that Viagra. Uh, right. He has a date with <laughs> Sally tonight. Uh, Ooh. I didn't think they got yeah. out. I thought they were just ahead. I thought they... Oh, no. uh, he he yeah. looks rock hard to me. What can I say? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I thought they were always ready. Uh, so, Judge Mount Rushmore. Uh, between the four of you, you have to decide who is Joe Grace at game number one. Is it Benita Ellery, Amy Grimard, or Funky Sam Medina? No, it can't be Teddy. All right. I know who's Joe Grace for game number one. Joe Grace for game number one is... Funky Sam Medina! You are... <laughs> Yeah. Ready? Yeah. For uh, dogfight edition right after game number two. Be ready. Well, does that mean I have to do other jokes? Yes, you have to do other jokes. So everybody, please okay. stay tuned for game number two right after this. All right, it's time for game number two of bombing run. Yeah. So let's meet our comedian combatants for game number two, shall we? Contestant number one. Hi, I'm Sheila Rosam from New York. Woohoo! Awesome. And now contestant number two. Hi, I'm JD Stevens. I'm from Oxnard, California. Sweet. And now contestant Woo. number three. Hi, I'm Swati. I'm from New Jersey. All right, let's. Let's give up, you know, we're, we're really happy to have you to be combatants on tonight. <laughs> but let's also uh, welcome to our game again once more, Mount Rushmore, everybody. Our mysterious comedian judge, Mount Rushmore. Yes, there are four stoners sticking sticking together judging a comedy <laughs> show. Nope, they're actually a legit comedian, and they know what they're looking for in this game. So, with that being said, battle stations, comedian combatants, battle stations, we're going to go up to our first comedian combatant for the uh, game number two. Let's give it up for Kilara Sin, everybody. Yeah. Woo. Yeah. Yo. What's up, world? My name is Kilara Sin, a.k.a. Pink Unicorn. <laughs> I'm from the East Coast. Woo. Woo. East Coast, Tokyo, Japan. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know my hair makes me look like Hello Kitty featuring Dennis Rodman. Uh, I'm half Japanese and half Japanese in total <laughs> Japanese. <laughs> but I like to call myself a mix, mix of Tokyo and Nagoya, the second largest city of Japan. So you can call me Toyota Hybrid. <laughs> <laughs> As you know, Japan has a lot of natural disasters like earthquakes, tsunami, and our basketball team. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I survived a huge one called Typhoon Yasuko. Yasuko is my mom's name. <laughs> <laughs> to say the truth, she's a very famous celebrity. You should know her by a stage name. Godzilla. <laughs> <laughs> the way she gets excited, she's always like, Kira! You ugly. <laughs> she crashes down the Empire State Building. And mm. I'm like, oh, my self esteem is falling. <laughs> and I finally became depressed and hikikomori. Hikikomori is a Japanese term to mean people who don't go to work, who don't go to school, who stop everything. In America, which is known as a 
comedian. <laughs> <laughs> but now I've been working as a host of a TV show called Japanese Whiskey World. Of Ooh. course, my job is drinking whiskey. So now I'm a workaholic. <laughs> 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 well, after moving to New York last summer, I identify myself as gender non-conforming. I don't know if you're familiar with the word. Wikipedia says gender non-conforming is you express and behave not following the gender stereotypes, and they may identify with any gender modality. See, I can do mansplaining. <laughs> <laughs> Well, in Japan, gender non-conforming is known as gender most confusing. <laughs> so, I was a Japanese schoolgirl like anime with toxic masculinity. <laughs> so, of course, now I'm a feminist, but back then when I was talking with my female friend, I was like, <laughs> go make me sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I was fired from Subway. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> but after growing up, people call me a failure woman. Even a female friend said, "Oh, Kilara, you can't cook. You are a cool. You, you are a failure woman." I was like, "Hey!" People always said to me, "You've got balls." I have dumplings. <laughs> <laughs> And my ex-boyfriend also said, huh, you can't cook. You are not qualified to be my wife. <gasps> I always said, huh, you can't make me come. You are about as useful as sex toys without batteries. <laughs> Go make me some dumplings. <laughs> <laughs> now I really enjoy dating the progressive men in New York. Mm. But I wonder why they always ask me about my family during having sex because they always ask me who is your daddy who is your daddy baby <laughs> <laughs> i always said <laughs> <"Akihiko?"> <laughs> <laughs> you want to screw me or you want to screw the patriarchy <laughs> <laughs> Now I really wanna uh, start, I, I'm studying the Bible to understand American culture. I was very impressed by the first sentence of it. In the beginning, God created heavens and the earth and everything else was made in China. All right, that's my time, thank you. All right, let's give it up for Killer San, everybody. Killer, where can we find you on social media? Oh. Please, uh, you, you can find me on Kilara Comedy on everything, Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube. Yeah, I have some viral videos. Please check it out. Awesome. Thank you so much. Let's give her a nice big round of applause, everybody. And little did we know this was going to be, this is your life. I have now just, uh, just uh, brought into the studio her mother, Godzilla. Godzilla. <laughs> 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 oh my god, traumatic! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I'm, uh, help it do that. All I'm right. Fine. Uh, Thank you. You're welcome. Um, also, oh, some of the things that the judge is telling me here Teddy also knows about sex assess accessories, those rough riders. Uh, really? Really, Teddy? All right, uh, one of you uh, Mount Rushmore heads, are you ready for the next comedian combatant? All right, let's give it up for our second comedian combatant. Let's give it up for Steph J.D. Stevens, everybody. Yeah. Hi, everybody. So I've been on a diet lately. It hasn't been going well. Apparently, you actually have to participate. I wasn't aware <laughs> of that. <laughs> Um, so I don't know if you all have heard about the strikes lately and everyone's striking or, or, you know, boycotting McDonald's and that's great, but I'm poor and fries are $1.29 on the app. So I'm sorry. <laughs> my allegiance is to poor. Uh, <laughs> I love you all. I'm poor. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Um, I am biracial, which means I'm 50% Mexican and 50% white. Let me explain. I'm Mexican enough that I can get down with spicy, like medium. Okay, medium. And white enough that, like, I don't hate the DMV. (laughs) I'm brown enough that I, like, add flavor to the bedroom. And white enough that I would rather take a nap. Okay. Uh, That's... Um, I survive off of golden retrievers, dildos, potatoes, and my absolute favorite, abstaining from men. (laughs) (laughs) I've tried men. I don't know if you've tried. I've tried variations of penis. Okay. I've tried small (laughs) penis. I've tried the large penis. I've tried every flavor of penis there is. Okay. And I got to tell you, uh, it's, it's, it's just okay. You know, it's kind of like chicken. If you've had chicken, you've had chicken. And <laughs> it's not something you're like, I've had chicken, baby. You're like, yeah, I have the chicken. It was okay. Uh, it was all right. It tasted like chicken honestly let's be honest it was a little salty there is it was tasted like chicken (laughs) yeah (laughs) i will say even though i'm 50 percent white and 50 percent brown that changes as needed okay when a cop pulls me over i am 100 percent white i need you to know that But when I'm asked for like anything from a man, lo siento, no hable inglés. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of like, listen, I'm pansexual until men approach me at the bar and then I'm gay. Okay, that's how that works. <laughs> <laughs> I like to leave it open just in case because like chicken's not the worst dish. But, like, that's the most positive thing I can say about any chicken I've ever had. It's just a, yeah. mm. It's the thing, okay? It's better than no chicken, but, like, I guess. Have you tried a dildo, though? Because those are fantastic. That's not chicken <laughs> at all. That's, mm-hmm. that's like, ribs. Straight up, okay? Mm. Like, if you have to choose... Go with the ribs, you know. I'm just saying. <laughs> no one, no one in their right mind is like, I love chicken. And for all of you that are like, listen, I prefer the penis. Okay, I hear you, and I respect that. But have you seen boobs? Because mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> boobs are boobs are delicious. Listen, men men get down on me, and they're like, Oh my gosh, why don't you want my penis? And then I'm like, have you seen boobs? And then and then we we understand we're playing for the same team. We're playing for team tits. Okay. That's what that is. <laughs> I'm team tits. Okay. All tits are beautiful. All penises are. Well, you know, they're chicken. Uh... I will say this. I will go ahead and end by saying this. <clears throat> Chicken is not my least favorite dish, okay? Mm. Men are. Oh. <laughs> 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 I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. No, I'm not. I'm really not. <laughs> I, I had I had sex with a woman, and it was amazing. And I got to tell you, I'm never going back. Thank you. All right, let's give it up for J.D. Stevens, everybody. J.D., where can we find you on social media? Yes, you can find me at J.D. S-T-E-P-H-A-N-S. That's J.D. Stevens on Instagram and J.D. underscore Stevens on TikTok and whatever the heck Twitter. All right, thank you so much, J.D. Let's give her a big round of applause, everybody. And. Yeah. Uh, you will not find JD at Popeyes or KFC. <laughs> <laughs>
But she does like yeah. those salty little fries. Just saying from McDonald's. I don't know. <laughs> I think they don't taste like chicken after all that. Uh, Judge Mount Rushmore, are you ready for the next comedian combatant? We hear tweets that mean that we get smelly white stuff on our heads. Oh, tweets. They think those are birds. Oh, gosh. Uh, oh, yes, they are. All right. So our, let's get to our third comedian combatant of game number two. Let's give it up for Swathi. Every, AK, everybody. Yeah. Woo. Everyone. I recently quit my job because my ex-boss was rude, demanding, condescending. Which is weird, because I was working from home. <laughs> Such a toxic work environment. Mm. <laughs> and at one point, my job search was like Tinder. I got swiped left. Oh, ho, ho. Many years ago, meaning before Tinder. See, that's how they gauge time these days. Used to be BC, AD. Now it's BT, AT. Before Tinder, after Tinder. Mm. Before Tinder, my dating life was just like my job search. A big disappointment. Oh. <laughs> that was the name of the dating app. Big disappointment. <laughs> it's almost like finding a woman in comedy in India. Go to a club. Big disappointment. <laughs> I used to think... In academics, I have a master's degree. In dating, I couldn't get a single bachelor. Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> My dad was like, you've been trying for three years. Now we will do what traditional Indian parents do in this situation. We give up on you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and, and they finally did that tough love thing. Have you heard of tough love? Mm -hmm. In India, it's called arranged marriage. <laughs> <laughs> Not fair, man. In the West, when kids get into trouble with their parents, they get grounded for a week. Mm -hmm. In India, when you get into trouble with your parents, you get married for life. No! <laughs> to a strange man. <laughs> So I said, I do, mm. because that's what you say in India when you're getting grounded for life. <laughs> <laughs> now I've been married for 14 years to a software engineer. Mm. Hashtag yeah. infinity. <laughs> 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 now my life, my life now is like software programming. Every day there's a chance I could crash. Hmm? Look yeah. closely. Can you see the rainbow wheel? <laughs> my my husband's name is Pavan Kumar. I call him Chat GPT. Because I feed him <laughs> one question and he thinks he has all answers. <laughs> I I also have uh, two kids. I'm a lot more patient now. Mm. Before it used to be very short tempered. Very short tempered. The temper lasted for a very short period of time. <laughs> not not longer than five or six weeks. <laughs> and every time I got angry, I screamed at the top of my lungs. Which just showed I'm an amateur screamer. If I was an experienced screamer, I'd be screaming from my diaphragm. <laughs> Do -e -mi -fa -so -la -ti. Clean your room. <laughs> See, that's what I meant. Mm. And the room gets clean. Because when you're screaming from your diaphragm, you don't know what's coming next. <laughs> I didn't know what would help me more. Anger management classes to control my anger or meditation classes to lengthen my diaphragm, better screaming. <laughs> <laughs> so I took a meditation class. It helped. Mm. But I'm still a little short-tempered. I scream at others while stuck in traffic. Screw you, it's all your fault. <laughs> the driver yelled back, get off my bus. <laughs> 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 mm -hmm. 
Now I'm banned from going on any of my kids' field trips. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think that's my time. Thank you, everybody. Swati AK. All Ooh. right, Let's give it up for Swati AK, everybody. And Swati, where can we find you on social media? Uh, it's uh, Swati underscore AK25 on Instagram. Sweet. Go check her out on that. And also, don't ask her to do a ride share. <laughs> that's not happening all right mount rushmore one of those had tests to decide who is joker ace for game number two is it kalara sand steph g stevens or swathi ak yeah let me change that really quick actually <laughs> all right oh no they weren't playing jimmy carter was not playing <laughs> nice <laughs> Oh, okay, so I know who's Joker Ace for game number two. Joker Ace for game number two is... Polaris Sand, everybody! Yes. You're gonna be in dogfighting yeah, yeah. dishes! Yes, so be ready, be prepared. We're gonna go to dogfight edition right after this. All right, we're ready for dogfight edition, yeah! And our two Joker Aces, Funky Sam Medina and Calera San are going to do head-to-head -head doing three-minute sets on the game show known as Bombing Run. So up first is our first comedian, Joker Ace, from game number one. Please welcome to the stage. Give it up for Funky Sam Medina, everybody. Yeah! Woo, Woo all right. Woo. Uh, I, don't, I don't have an OnlyFans, Woo. but I do have an OnlyFans. <laughs> Unfortunately, that person cannot be here tonight. Uh, I lost one. I lost a hundred pounds recently. You guys, Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo! yeah, thanks. That was a crazy day in that British casino. <laughs> <laughs> I am trying to lose weight though. Like my wife passed me on this diet. Uh, she told me that Sundays can be cheat day, so Sunday I got a hooker. <laughs> nice. But I do. I do think when you're trying to lose weight, it's gonna set goals for yourself. So I decided that my new Target shirt size is Target shirt size. <laughs> I don't have any tattoos. It's hard to tell on the Zoom. I don't have any tattoos. I have no tattoos because when I was a kid, my mom would always tell me never get tattoos because when you get in trouble with the law. It's easier to identify you. Uh -huh. Yeah, my mom's advice was when you get in trouble with the law. <laughs> I, I think the moral of the story here is don't listen to your mother. Mm. Especially if she's been in prison. <laughs> <laughs> my friend uh, my friend called me, he told me the other day that he got so high that his dog could talk to him. And I'm like, oh, that's cool. You know, one time I got so high that my cat could talk to me, uh, but she still didn't. <laughs> yeah, my cat's a jerk. Like, I came home the other day, and she was on the back of this chair. I leaned down to give her a kiss, and she was like, oh, like, so far that she fell off the chair. <laughs> and then she pulled out pepper spray. Oh. <laughs> I'm like, you don't, you don't even have thumbs. <laughs> <laughs> And we found out recently that we uh, we can't take her to the vet anymore unless she's sedated. They said that she tries to fight everybody in the vet's office. And I'm like, I know I taught her that. I taught my cat self-defense, you guys, because of boy cats. Mm. <laughs> she wasn't supposed to end up in vet jail, though. Yeah, it's okay, though. She had no tattoos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just joined Tinder recently. Uh, it's not what you're thinking, though. It's not what you're thinking at all. Uh, I joined this really hot girl, and then I messaged all the guys. I'm like, hey, come see me on Bobby Run Comedy on Monday night. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so if that's why you're here, it wasn't me. I think it was A.A. Ron. Hey, thank you guys again. My name is Funky Sam Medina. All right. Let's give it up for Funky Sam Medina, everybody. Yeah. Woo! And Funky Sam Medina, Woo! we're reminding yeah! everybody where you, we can find you on social media. <clears throat> At Funky Sam Medina. At Funky Sam Medina, everybody. Yeah, I'll go check him out on that. And uh, if he sent you here from his Tinder app, uh, welcome. 
welcome. <laughs> I'm surprised you're watching this here. Don't swipe left. Oh, damn it. All right. Uh, Mount, Mount, Judge Mount Rushmore. Oh. George knows how, what it's like to cut cut his teeth. It's easier when they're made out of wood. I am. Ah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, Mount Rushmore, are you ready for the next comedian combatant? All right. So up next to the stage, our second joke race of the night. Please give it up for Calera Sin, everybody. Yeah. Uh. Hi. Um, thank you. I'm from Japan. The English is still very difficult for me, and especially British English is really tough. So now all I know about British English is just one word, twat. <laughs> <laughs> but when I first heard it, I really thought twat was the past tense of tweet. <laughs> so I used the word like this way. Donald Trump twat this morning again. <laughs> And nobody corrected it. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> um, actually, this is not my very first time living in the States. I studied abroad at an HBCU, Historical Black College and Universities, originally established for African American before the civil rights movement. So of course, most of the students are black students and some white students, and I was the only Asian there. They called me light-skinned Mexican. Oh. <laughs> well, the experience is really fun, but when I talk about this, a lot of Japanese ask me the same question. That is, eh, old black college, isn't it dangerous? I know, I know you're feeling, but unfortunately it's still common reaction of Japanese, especially who are not familiar with American culture. So I really want to change it. So I always said, no, it was very safe because there was no white people. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> but to study abroad, you know, language is very important, right? So before going there, I looked up Urban Dictionary and it says, uh, so because I didn't want to make as many friends as possible. So I looked up Konnichiwa. Mm. Uh, meaning hello, and it said konnichiwa in urban language is gonna be yo 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 what's up though hey, yo what's up man <laughs> 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 I practiced again and again but once I went there it was totally different konnichiwa in urban language in the real life is just <laughs> But I noticed that konnichiwa in Japanese in the real life is also just <laughs> so we bow each other. I felt so connected. Uh, All right, that's my time. Thank you. All right, let's give it up for Kalara Sen, everybody. Yeah, and Kalara, can you remind us one more time where we can find you on social media? All right, Kilara Comedy, K-I-L-A-R-A -A -A, and Comedy. All on right. Instagram, yep. On Instagram, thank you so much. Yep. And let's give her one big more round of applause, everybody. And actually, let's give both of our joke races a big round of applause. Woo! Thank Our you, thank you. And Clara Sin, they did an amazing job tonight. And now, Mount Rushmore, you just can't just sit there looking stone cold. You have to decide whose joke, uh, the ace of aces out of these two comedians. Tommy's busy writing his declaration to become independent from us. Okay. It's not helping, Mount Rushmore. I need to know who is Ace of Aces tonight. So the Ace of Aces tonight is... Kalara Sand, everybody! Oh my god! Oh my god! Woo! Thank you! Woo! And Kalara Sand... You get to do what we call a victory flyby that is 30, 90 seconds. Uh, you can thank the Academy. You can do a little more time starting now. Okay. Um, so 
Okay, before going to HBCU, honestly, uh, I was just one of those Japanese. It's, it's really shame. I was ignorant. I expected all the Black people, uh, just based on a few Black celebrities. Like, I expected all the Black can sing like Boys to Men, or all Black people could dance like Beyonce, or all the Black people could tell stories like Jesus. <laughs> But the reality was totally different. I had a roommate, male roommate, who loved singing during taking shower, but it was horrible. Like every time he was like, Andy, fire, it was like a cat in heat. <laughs> but, he was, but he was really good at math and science, and he became doctor. Ooh. I am an Asian, but terrible at math and science, and now I've become NASCAR driver <laughs> <laughs> on city bike. Oh! <laughs> okay, let me do some impressions. I'm a big fan of hip hop music. So there are some weird hip, uh, weird scenes in hip hop promotional videos. A fat guy in the main rapper's crew, he's just standing like this. Money, money. <laughs> All right, that's my time. Thank you. All right, let's give it up for right. the Ace of Aces, Claire and Tanner, everybody. I totally yeah. forgot. I didn't that was a great it. set. Thank, thank you. you so much. And I thank would love you. to thank all our comedian combatants tonight. We have Benita Ellery, Amy Grimrard, Spunky Sam Medina, Clara Sand, JD Stevens, and Swati AK. And let's give it up for our mysterious comedian judge. Mount Rushmore, who has to go back to being stiff and stolen. Uh, anyways, that's Bombing Run for tonight, guys. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for checking us out on DBTV. So for me, the Mysterious Comedian Judge, and our community combatants, this has been an oddly funny production. This has been an oddly funny production.